Hi, my name's David, and welcome to Modern Painters New Decorators. You're watching Hold Up, our exhibition live stream. Have you ever thought about the importance of touch? Have you ever experienced the weight of support? Perhaps over the last year you may have thought about the impact of physical contact on your life. Well, over the last 12 months at Modern Painters New Decorators, we've had the pleasure of working with Lulu Senf. Lulu is a ceramicist and animator based in London, where she's been taking part in a studio residency run by an artist group called Collective Matter. Lulu's work is often made up of figures, busts and faces. She creates them using tactile and expressive materials. And through this time, I've been fortunate enough to have a number of conversations with Lulu. We've talked practically about the exhibition, how the figures would be displayed, what glazes might work best, whether the project was on track. But we've also shared stories of losing loved ones. Grief is something that we will all inevitably experience, and a sense of loss is something we may even encounter on a more regular basis. And whilst the show looks at these emotions, in my mind, the work is also a celebration of community and the strength of familial bonds. We hope that you'll find it a hopeful experience. Tonight, we're going to explore these ideas of support, grief and narrative focusing on one of Lulu's key materials, which is clay. We hope that tonight you'll have a chance to reflect and experience a sense of light, warmth and quiet that feels just a little bit different from your everyday. To speak a foreign language in your own tongue. No, not just one, but a number of languages. Korean, Old English, Mineral, Manual. The different and difficult dialects of fire that the hand understands in the gravity of a jug. The eye responds to in the glaze of a jar. The mouth mediates on at the rim of a bowl as if one day the entire body should become an ear resounding like a choir, the choir of Babel at the moment of Pentecost. Welcome to Hold Up. My name is Lulu Zempft and I'm here to take you through this exhibition of my work at Modern Painters New Decorators in Loughborough. The show features a collection of 14 ceramic sculptures made during my residency at Collective Matter, a collaborative ceramic studio in South London. My time there gave me the environment to experiment and really develop my practice in clay. The work in Hold Up explores themes around the weight of grief and loss and support in carrying that weight. As you enter the gallery, you are met with a series of narrow curved tables which weave through the space. 
On these tables are a collection of small ceramic sculptures of single and paired figures. The figures sit slightly submerged in a fine sand, as if emerging and sinking. Of these four plywood tables, there are three long, which wind through in an S-shape, and one small and circular, which acts as a full stop. This form can be followed round when viewing the work, starting at any point. It was important to me for there to be no sharp corners to the structure, but to keep to softer, muted forms. I hope that this aids how the work interacts with the gallery space and reflects the exhibition's sense of quiet. The sand is a pale colour and the plywood has been left untreated to keep its warm tone. The lighting of the exhibition is controlled through overhead lights in the gallery, which is also significant in setting the tone of the space. Although the figures are a collection intended to complement each other as a group, they are also designed to work as individual, standalone pieces. When seen from above, the figures look a little vulnerable. However, I feel this changes when viewed face to face on their level. They are connected by a sea of sand, something which can be seen as soft, comforting and peaceful but also potentially unstable and threatening. The paired figures show a support represented physically, keeping each other grounded through touch. I wanted to look at the common need for an anchor when in the midst of loss. My sculptures are often made after drawn sketches, however they can change quite a bit once they reach the clay. I also start some pieces without a plan. Clay is a very playful material which enables you to find characters and shapes within it while sculpting. The single figures are acutely solitary. This piece shows a woman looking upwards, sitting with her knees drawn together. She has one hand gripping an arm and the other a shoulder. I wanted to reference self-soothing body language and how the positioning of hands can quietly show this. All of the pieces were made using stoneware clay. Some, however, are in a smooth textured body and others in a grogged one. Grogged clay contains small pieces of pre-fired clay within it. This gives the clay certain properties such as less shrinkage when drying. It also means the clay has a coarse texture to it.
I find sculpting in Grog Cave very freeing, a little like using a piece of charcoal to draw with compared to a thin technical pencil. All of the sculptures are twice fired, once at 1000 degrees Celsius and once at 1260 degrees Celsius for the glaze. There are three main glazing processes used for these sculptures. A number are covered in a brush on glaze. Others have been painted using powdered pigments, which is then sponged off to reveal the textured details in the clay. Thicker glazes often obscure these subtle marks, something I wanted to avoid with these pieces. A few of the sculptors have had multiple layers of these pigments applied to them before firing, which creates a look of varied colour and depth where the liquid has overlapped. As the figures are on a small scale, I sculpted them using a combination of hand building and precision tools which are helpful for detailed work. These could be modelling tools or repurposed ones such as a toothbrush. Something I also wanted to touch on in this work is the subtler forms of support. In this piece, hair, one person is offering another a form of gentle care. I wanted to acknowledge how these smaller acts can have a large impact on a person feeling supported through grief. In a number of these coupled sculptures, such as this piece titled Hold Close, I have also used the contrasting forms of a relaxed heavy body which is to me a vulnerable state, and one which is more upright and alert. Despite this contrast, I like to think there is also a balance between the two. Look, the trees are turning their own bodies into pillars of light, are giving off the rich fragrance of cinnamon and fulfilment. The long tapers of cattails are bursting and floating away over the blue shoulders of the ponds. And every pond, no matter what its name is, is nameless now. Every year, everything I have ever learned in my lifetime leads back to this. The fires and the black river of loss, whose other side is salvation, whose meaning none of us will ever know. To live in this world, you must be able to do three things. To love what is mortal, to hold it against your bones, knowing your own life depends on it. And when the time comes to let it go, to let it go.
On the 20th of February, I ran a stop motion animation workshop as the first of this series of online events. We'd like to premiere everyone's short films which were made that day, and I hope you enjoy them as much as we did. Hmm. <laughs> So that's it for this evening. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like to find out more about Lulu, ceramics or the exhibition, you can join us online on the 18th of March at 8pm where you'll be able to hear Lulu in conversation with Collective Matter. 
If you've been affected by any of the themes of the project, do talk to someone. You can reach out to the Good Grief Trust, the Samaritans, or find a close friend who can listen to you. If you want to find out more about Modern Painters New Decorators, then follow us on Facebook and Instagram, or join our mailing list via our website. Whether in person or online, we hope to see you again soon.